Hey okay, guys, welcome to Photographic Academy. So in this story, I'm just going to walk into on how you can manipulate your studio background. So I'm just going to be using this image by Skyny to walk you through on how you can do that. So let me import this image so that we we'll go through it step by step, and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. So I've imported this image. So this is my camera roll. So I'm just going to do some adjustments. I've already done some adjustments already. So and it's still returning. Look at how it was before. Okay. I just pinned the exposure, the shadows, the whites and the backs to get this. So, okay, I'll just click on open. Okay. What is open? So, I just want to have a, a very wide background. So, I'll be able to use my, my content I went to expand it to make it more bold like this. Okay. Because I, I want to have enough space to work with. Well, something like this is okay for me. I'm not going to hit on my content away so that it can fill up these places for me. The empty space for me. Alright, so look at what I have here now. So I just want to have something like this, okay? It has filled up this empty space for me and create a wide background for me. So I'm not going to come to this image. First of all, I'm just going to return this image with our automation action pack. So if you don't have that, we are going to be dropping the link in this video screenshot on how you can purchase yours okay so i'm just gonna come to my windows my actions okay so to get my automation action back here is it click on my report action and wait for it so because i want this image to be very smooth so i'm just gonna be choosing three okay or rather four let's make it four so wait for it now look at that let me zoom in so that you can see what this has done to our image look, look at the before look at the after okay as you can see that's so we took the whole image for us look at the before look at the after look at the before look at the after so it has taken care of all the blemishes in this image okay look at the before look at the after so this is what you can achieve with this our actions so as you can see this is a cool portrait image so this is the full body image so it has taken care of the portrait for me so i'm not going to come to the action again use my auto dodge and bone okay so let me delete and group them so that you can see what it has done to my image already so look at that look at the before look at the after so i can reduce it i can set to create a rare max to a box so that i can paint with my brush where I want it to be, okay? So I'm not going to create a rare max yet. So pick my brush. So invert control I to invert. So pick my brush. So I can just paint through her face. Make sure your full background color is white. Okay? So that it can unveil. Because white unveils black heights. Okay? Remember that. White unveils black heights. So I'm not going to paint it. I just want it to be on this on my model's face. I think basically the skin, that's where I want the effect to. So look at that. So look at before, look at after. Okay. Look at how this image has popped out. Just two clicks, guys. So this is what our automation reporting action can do for you. Okay. So look at before, look at after. Okay. Let me zoom in, in so that you can see it properly. Look at the overall before. Look at the after, okay, it has taken care of. Look at before the jam bone. The first, the how it's, it has put my image. So look at the dodge and bone. Okay, as you can see, it has made my image to pop out the more. So I've just sharpened it. Let's, let's sharpen and see what it does to the image. So look at that, it has sharpened our image to make it pop out the more. Look at the before, look at the after, okay. I can reduce the sharpening. Okay. So I think I'm done with this for now. So let me just flatten the whole image so that we can run through on how we can manipulate our background very fast. So let me flatten the whole image. So look at that. I've already flattened the whole image. Come to my select tool here. Come to my tool bar here and click on select subject. Okay. Because I want to select just the model. Okay, yeah, as you can see, I've selected just the model. So I'm not going to drag 
it here to this new to create a new layer so come to this image right click and choose layer vehicles okay the effort is to separate the model from the background okay as you can see i've separated the model from the background so i'm not going to come to my file and select the background that i want to use i want to use this background okay so just drop it here so i'm not going to drop it in between the background and the model okay yeah something like this to so have something like this so that i can now scale it up to make it to fit in where i want okay how i want it to fit in okay something like this so to make it to fit in very well to look realistic because i just want to have a very realistic background i just want to make it so realistic okay something like this okay so I've just put it with my background on this image. So if you notice the background is still hanging. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a an empty layer so that I can bring the model and the background. Okay, the feet is still hanging. So I'm just going to come to here and create an empty layer. Okay, come in between and create an empty layer. Pick my brush. So I'm just going to create a realistic shadow here. Okay, so let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to create a realistic shadow here. I'm just going to replace my, my brush and paint inside. I just want to paint inside to create a realistic shadow here. Okay? Do something like this. So over time, I'm just going to increase my brush, reduce my flow again. So to also create further realistic shadow. I'm not going to paint very carefully. Because I don't want it to come out too much. So something like this. So if you notice now, our model is no longer hanging. Okay. Let me remove it so you can see. Look at that. Okay. It's no longer hanging. So I'll probably create a realistic shadow. I can now come to my filter to draw it. To make it to look further realistic. Come to my filter. Choose Blur. Gaussian Blur. So look at that. So to make it look more further realistic. That's how you can create a base, okay? I want to create a reflection of this model. So I don't want to create a shadow of this model. So a mirror of this model, okay? So I'm just going to control J to duplicate. So come to my edit. Come to my transform. Okay, flip vertically. Okay? So I will just drag it down a little like this. So I flipped vertically. So if you notice, I flipped vertically. So another thing I'm going to do is to come to my edit, put it to up. Okay. Yeah. So that I can come here and create things that I can use and drag. Okay. So all these things I'm doing is just to make the it's just to make it to be more realistic, to look more realistic. Okay. So something like this. Something like this is, is cool. So after that, I'll just click on OK. So I've had something like this, okay? Look at that. So I'll just reduce the opacity. I'm uh, not going to reduce the opacity. So look at that, have a, a kind of a mirror. Then I'm just going to create a, a global core grading to merge everything to make it look more realistic. So I'm just going to come here, my adjustment to come to power look up. So choose any one that I feel that is it, it's, that will be okay in this image. So I'll choose this. So come to my areas. So change the branding option to anything that you feel that can work for you better. So look at that. So reduce it. So it, it helps create a global color grading in this image. So look at that. Look at before. Look at after. Look at before. Look at. So it has rendered everything for us. This is how you can easily create your and manipulate your backgrounds, guys. So this is how you can easily do that. So look at before. Look at after. So let me... So let's go to our history panel so I can show you where we started and how we arrived here. So our history panel. History. So 
Let's take a snap. Stand gold all through the way. So look at it before. When we come to the shop, look at after. Okay, amazing. Look at before, look at after. So this is how you can manipulate your studio background images to make it more realistic. So remember, if you want our actual pack, you can check through the through this screen to purchase yours, okay, to make your workflow so easy and nice. So we're gonna be dropping some of this background that we used in this image in this video description so that you can use it to manipulate your own and also get the exact result. Okay, look at before, look at after, look at before, look at after. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you are not yet a subscriber, please do subscribe to our channel so that you can be getting stuff like this. And turn on your notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video. Thank you.